Hey everybody, it's Louie from Jaff from Home of the Motorcycle Gear Experts. Today we're taking a closer look at the Nolan N104 NCOM Modular Motorcycle Riding Up, available at Jaff.com. The Italian N104 NCOM Modular Motorcycle Helmet from Nolan is a feature-packed marvel of helmet engineering, and it's a great choice for riders of just about any style of motorcycle. Its shell comes in a myriad of colorways, including matte finishes, gloss finishes, high-vis colors, and graphics. Nolan utilizes two shell sizes, which allows them to offer a huge size range. And this N104 helmet is available in sizes double extra small all the way to triple extra large. Now, the shell is constructed of injected molded Lexan polycarbonate, and this is a very durable material that will stand up well to the wear and tear of daily commuting. Now, the helmet's DOT approved here in the States, and ECE approved in Europe. And the US version and the European versions of this helmet are exactly the same. So the US version satisfies the ECE requirements, it just isn't indicated on the helmet for the US market. Let's take a look at the feature that makes a modular helmet modular, the chin bar. Now this chin bar setup has some features that really set it apart from a good deal of the competition. Now first, let's check out the Centromatic Latching Mechanism. Now this system is dual stage to prevent the chin bar from opening unless the wearer really wants it to. To disengage the latch, you first pull out on the tab at the bottom of the chin bar. This will expose the tab on the front surface. Now, this is the portion of the mechanism that actually disengages the latch. Now pinch the two tabs together between your thumb and forefinger and raise the chin bar to the up position. Now, this chin bar hinge mechanism is elliptical, which draws the chin bar close to the helmet when raised. Now, this reduces turbulence and wind noise while riding with the chin bar in the raised position. Now, riding with the chin bar up is made possible by yet another chin bar feature. Now, this switch here next to the hinge locks the chin bar in the raised position so that it won't slam down if you turn your head to check your blind spot. The next feature I want to take a closer look at is the face shield. Now this shield is optically correct and incredibly large. Top to bottom, this shield measures 6 and 3 8 inches tall. Now most face shields are closer to about 5 inches in height. Now this shield also offers UV protection and it's pin lock ready. Removing the shield is easy. With the shield in the full raised position, slide this switch forward. And I found that the shield release is much easier if gentle upward pressure is applied to the shield. Now once it releases, slide the shield forward to remove it from the base plate. But with the shield removed, you can more easily install the included pin lock insert. Remove the protective film from the inside surface of the insert. Install the pin lock insert into the shield one side at a time with the silicone bead of the insert seated against the shield. Reinstall the shield onto the helmet opposite of the way you remove it. Now you're ready for a fog free ride. And yet another feature that received an upgrade over the N103 is the VPS or Vision Protection System. This interior sunshade is scratch and fog resistant and the controls are mounted low on the helmet. Now this lowers the helmet's center of gravity. Lowering the helmet's center of gravity makes the helmet feel lighter on your head. Removing the shade is incredibly easy. And with the chin bar in the raised position, lower the sunshade to the down position. Pull down slightly and out firmly on the shade, disconnecting one side of the shade at a time. The next set of features I want to take a look at is the vent scheme. Now the ventilation on this helmet is incredible, especially considering how few vent ports this helmet has. The chin vent flows a ton of air to the face to reduce fogging, which is pretty standard stuff. Now the forehead vent though is part of a new vent scheme Nolan calls the air booster system. Now this vent switch operates both the forehead vent and the top vent independently to allow you to fully customize the airflow. Now once the air enters the helmet, it's channeled through the helmet in plastic tubes that I'll show you when I remove the liner. Now this air picks up moisture from the inside of the helmet and expels it out of the exhaust vents. Lastly, let's get a look at this new liner system. The Clima Comfort padding is breathable and moisture wicking to keep it cool. It's also fully removable and washable. The padding is treated with silver salt, making the material antibacterial and antifungal. Now this liner system is fairly sophisticated, but it's easy to remove with a little bit of patience. You have to start by removing the cheek pads. And notice the three-dimensional padding. This helps the cheek pad to break in evenly and apply equal pressure to the face. Now, this design also reduces wind noise and makes wearing prescription eyewear more comfortable. With the cheek pads removed, you can now remove the neck roll. Now, the tabs that hold the liner components into the helmet are made to be very lightweight, so it's important to pull these tabs straight out of their slots to make sure that you don't pull them off the neck roll. The cheek pads can be reinstalled without the neck roll if you like to make the helmet a little bit cooler on hot days. Now, with the cheek pads and neck roll removed, you can see the cutouts in the EPS liner that are designed to accommodate the NCOM Bluetooth communication speakers. The NCOM communicator is easily installed into this receptacle, and the battery installs into this port on the rear. Removing the headliner is easy, but it also requires some patience. 
start at the rear with these tabs, then pull out the front by pulling gently and steadily on these tabs. With the headliner removed, you can pull this mesh material aside, exposing the plastic vent channels we talked about earlier. The retention system is called Microlock, and it's an easy to use quick release system. The N104 NCOM Modular Motorcycle Helmet from Nolan is again a great choice for a rider on pretty much any bike looking for high tech features with the convenience of an internal sunshade and a raisable chin bar. Thanks for joining me for a closer look. To see more from Nolan, subscribe to Jaff on YouTube or click the link below to go to our website. Questions? Well, then leave a comment on this video. Click our live chat icon or give us a call at 1 877 Go Helmet. Like us on Facebook for daily deals and rider news. And remember, when it comes to our customers, we'll ride the extra mile. I'm Louie, we'll see you next time.